Welcome! Welcome to Cook with Joy. I am so excited to be with you today. I hope that this is your favorite cooking show because it's my favorite cooking show. Today, we're going to show something that you probably could bring to any holiday gathering, especially in the summer, the spring, maybe not fall and winter so much, but definitely the spring. And, and when we're following a vegan and gluten-free diet, oftentimes we think about eating like just from a perfunctory standpoint. We don't think about how do we make this fun and festive? And today we're gonna to look at something that could be fun and festive. All right, so in this season, we've been looking at recipes that other people have introduced. Maybe they're companies, maybe they're individuals that have websites. And I'm looking at how practical are these, these recipes? You know, I often pull off recipes when I'm looking for something off of, you know, I, I Google like, how do you make vegan eggs benedict or something like that. And sometimes they're great and sometimes they're not so great. So today I really want to talk about this recipe that I pulled off of the Heidi Ho um, website. Heidi Ho is a non-dairy cheese. It's made from cashews and I've seen it before like as a spread, as a dip, but I've never really thought about it as part of a recipe. I was so excited when I went to their website and I saw all of the recipes that they had and I tried this one and I'm going to show you how it turned out. Let's see. So I'm going to show you what we made, and this is what we're going to make today. They, they call these cucumber roll-ups, and they're, they're, they're actually pretty festive looking. There's a little bit of red pepper, the green from the cucumber, etc. I'm going to talk about the process of making these, what I think could make it a little bit better, and what I really like about this recipe. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing that we're going to start with is a cucumber. And cucumbers are amazing for you. They're really good for urinary tract health. They're great for getting toxins out of your body because they've got a lot of water in them. I love cucumbers. I use these all the time for dips in hummus. And this, is, this dish is kind of like combining, like dipping a cucumber in hummus and dipping it in red pepper, et cetera, and then using the Heidi Ho cheese that we talked about to actually pull the whole thing together. So let's talk about what worked and what didn't work in this recipe. Okay, this, this talked about slicing the cucumber as thinly as you possibly can. And that's okay, but as you get to the middle part of it, you can't quite get it so thin. Um, we did this once before with the eggplant recipe. I don't know if you guys remember back. But I remember. You remember that? I yeah. remember that. <laughs> and and that, that kind of works because when you get to the middle, it's a bigger vegetable. But with the cucumber, it's a little trickier to get it really, 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 really thin. And I'm sure there are some chefs out there who could do that, but you see this piece that I just did? So there's a little nick in it. Now, that's not the end of the world, but it's also not as uniform as I would like it to be. So these ended up turning out okay, but I would like to see them thinner. I'm wondering about using a mandolin. I What's a mandolin? A man I know, it's like an instrument, right? <laughs> I own one, but I'm afraid to use it because it's really, really sharp. But let's see if it works. Let's just try it. This is a total experiment. I've never done this before. Probably not something you should do on a cooking show, right? But let's just see how that works. Um, so not so good. Okay, that's, yeah, it's okay. But I think maybe with some practice, the mandolin would be the way to go. So anyway, the first instruction is slice the whole cucumber. What I did is I made the slices and because they were a little bit thick, I put some salt on them and I put them in the fridge and that always gets things kind of soft. So this mandolin either needs to be thicker or I need to get a different mandolin or I need to take my cucumbers out and have them professionally <laughs> sliced, which, which I think might be... Is that be a, a real thing? Do I, th do I, th that? I think so. I think there are professional cucumber slicers out there. I'm, I'm sure there must be. Let's try a serrated knife and see if that works any better. Um, you know, I'm like, you guys know, I am not like this great professional chef. I just, I know a lot about food, about what's good for you. And I know you should get cucumbers in you. Oh my gosh, look at, oh, that is so, so much, much better. Oh my God. That is, well, not, it's not, it's, it's okay. It's better. This is the one we're going to use for the demo. Now I put salt on this to get it a little bit soft, but that's neither here nor there. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take some hummus. Now the recipe called for garlic hummus. I wanted to use this jalapeno and cilantro hummus because number one, Trader Joe's didn't have any garlic hummus, but number two, I like anything with cilantro and jalapeno in it. So that's what we're using first. So we're just gonna take 
a teaspoon of that, roughly measured. You know how I love to measure things. Very specific. Very specific. The recipe called to spread it out on the cucumber itself, the cucumber slice. That made everything squish out. So what I did is I used something that we did in the eggplant recipe and I just put it on one end and that seemed to work a little bit better. But I'm going to show you how it turns out when I follow their rules. The next thing we're going to do, it's really a simple recipe actually, is we're going to use some roasted peppers. Now I usually roast my own peppers, but I was being lazy. So I bought roasted red peppers and then I chopped them into little tiny fine chops. So we're going to take another teaspoon of the red peppers and we're just going to sprinkle that on the cucumber slice down the center. Okay. I'm, I'm doing it the way they said to do it. And I'm going to show you how that turns out next. We're going to use this Heidi Ho and this is called their pure cheese. The name is really, Derek, I don't know how to pronounce this. It's Nishev, which means not a goat. I like that. It means no goat. That's okay? how I pronounce it. Nishev. Nishug. You say that a lot? Uh-huh. Are you a French speaker? I didn't know that. No, I just play a lot of Scrabble. You just play, oh, I German see. German Scrabble. Oh, German, that's got to be French Scrabble. We're going to take a teaspoon of this and this cheese, by the way, is awesome. I could, I could like eat this by the spoonful. It's, it's that good. I don't know why I've never had it, but we're going to just kind of break it up into little crumbles on top of this. And, uh, and that's going to go down the center and that looks delicious. It's like a cucumber pizza almost, right? Love and, pizza. <laughs> and then, okay, lastly, I'm going to do is lick my thumb. Mm. Oh my God. Yum. This is so good that the health department is not involved in this. This is perfect. And then I'm going to put some fresh ground pepper over the top and then we're going to roll it up. Now this is the tricky part. So see how beautiful it is right now. Gorgeous. I mean, it looks great. It looks like a cucumber pizza and I could just eat it like that. But now the trick is to get it rolled up like that and have it hang together. This is where the challenge is. So it's a little bit too thick. I should have gotten it thinner and there's too much stuff in it. So you see how it's kind of like squishing out. This is going to be like too much for one mouth. Do you need me to eat some of it? Yeah, I know you're going to eat all of them, I'm sure. And then you put a little toothpick through it and you want to do it from the, from the end that, that you end on. And it would be, wouldn't it be cute if you had like little American flags and you could do this for the 4th of July or for Memorial Day or something. Anyway, it, it is pretty, right? But it's a little bit big to put your mouth around. So the ones that I did already on the plate, I did a little bit differently and let me show you how I did them. First of all, putting the salt on them really made them soften and so they, they were much more pliable and I would recommend that. I used a big Pyrex dish and I put all the slices in it and then I put uh, salt over the top and let them sit overnight. I'm going to try one more thin slice and see if I can get it much, much, much thinner than that last one. Nope. <laughs> I suck at this officially. So this is the hard part to Heidi Ho that you guys might want to consider is that this is not as simple as you guys make it sound and that makes it a bit of a challenge. But how I made it work is I put kind of a glob at the end. So I put that tablespoon and I put it at the end just like I did with the, um, with the eggplant recipe. And then I'm going to add the red peppers just right on top. I'm not going to spread the whole thing out. Then I'm going to add the shove right at the end. I'm not going to spread it out on the whole thing like they suggest. I'll put the pepper on top of it and then I'm going to roll it up from there. And for me, that seemed to work a lot better because then I have more cucumber that I'm working with and I can keep stuffing the insides back on the inside. And when I get the little toothpick in it, you can see how neat that is. So I get the little toothpick in it, then I can just kind of smash the hummus down and it's a little bit better. But I have to say that putting the salt on it overnight is kind of a key piece to making this whole recipe work unless you're really, really, really good at making the cucumbers thin, which clearly I am not. Clearly. Clearly I am not. We're going to taste this right now. I think it's going to be delicious because I've been tasting all of the ingredients on my fingers. How can it be wrong? But um, the assembly part of it is the tricky part. All right, so let's, the ultimate test is let's taste it. All right, I'm going to taste one of the ones that I made with the salted cucumbers and it looks delicious. You need a napkin? It's a little messy. It's a little messy. 
It is outrageously delicious. So I give it, I give this 10 points for taste. It's unbelievable. I give it five points for ease of eating and probably five points for ease of construction. I'm going to figure this sucker out. I think that if we made them with smaller cucumbers and I got someone to professionally slice them for me ahead of time, that this recipe would be awesome. So really beautiful dish. I mean, some of them look just amazing. I really did a good job on some of them. The salting them I think is key, but so many health benefits in this dish and it is absolutely delicious. Cucumbers, I talked about those. Red peppers, so great for eye vision, um, folate, um, you name it. The chickpeas that are in the hummus. This is a nutrition packed, packed dish that tastes delicious. And if we could just figure out how to assemble it better, I think this is a real winner. So I'm going to try making this again and I hope you do too. And share with me about your success. And if you find a really clever way of assembling this, I would love to know, but stay tuned for our next episode of Cook with Joy because we're going to try another great recipe. Thanks for joining us.